and he's a fantastic horse. You know, once they gave the jockey a leg up, he, he just changed. You could see the horse. He's an athlete. He wants to run. Uh, he looked marvellous, in, and his, his condition is superb. Uh, yard arm also, outstanding horse. Third, and the other horse that I fancy is Mona. He looked a bit sluggish when he walked in the ring, but also, once again, the jockey on his back was fantastic. Michael, thanks very much for your time coming into the studio. From all of us at Teletrack, we wish you all the best in uh, your future here in South Africa, and we miss you in the saddle. Thank you. Well, we go straight over now to the commentator, the one and a half million rand Vodacom Durban July, 2,200 metres of pure racing action. Sheldon Peters will take us through it. Now the turn of Bianconi. Half a dozen left to load up for the Vodacom Durban July of 2003. Big showdown. They've got 2,200 to raise. The favourite drawn 20 out of 20. He will complete this year's Vodacom Durban July field. They're at attention. 2,200 to raise. They dispatch to the roar of the crowd. And Bianconi's right there. Set of fire, Monet, African Lion, Oratories on the outside, Yardom. Dynasty's going to tuck in near the back of the field early on. Wolf whistles a couple of links off them. Hideouts on the outside, Delaware Park. Fantastic horse going through the field. Surveyors wider out with the blue blinkers. Dynasty's a bit eager. He's on the outside. Very wide as Dynasty as they race behind the drill hall. Hail Caesar, Cousin John's further back. Name the key, Steiger, special parade. Double reef, and that leaves Free My Heart in the back seat. And Free My Heart, I'd say, is racing about 14, 15 lengths off them. Yard arm strikes the front past the 1400. So Pierce Stratum's where he wants him to be in front, a length and a tail. Surveyors got up to raise second. Then Oratory, fantastic horse and hideout, five lengths off them. Set of fires towards the inside of runners. Red badge further back. Wolf whistle, African lion. Bianconi's further back in the running. Then comes Cousin John racing about ten lengths off them. Dynasty's mid-division now. Nine lengths off the leaders. Manet towards the inside. Special parade. They're racing about thirteen off them. Hail Caesar's wider out. Delaware Park. Name the key, Double Reef Tiger, Free My Heart in the back seat. About to be homeward bound in the Vodacom, Durban July. Yard arms, their length and a half. Surveyor's going to be the first to challenge the grey fantastic horse on the outside. Dynasty's towards the outside, still travelling comfortably enough, three lengths to make up. Oratory towards the inside. Yard arm at the 300. Yes, Dynasty coming home hard on the outside. Oratory towards the inside at the 200 yard arm, but the champion Dynasty starts to run on strongly. Yard arm, Dynasty's coming on strongly, and Dynasty's gonna strike gold. Dynasty, a courageous win from Yard arm. Red badge back in third, Wolf Whistle and Special Parade. Put your hands together for Dynasty. Robbie Fred for Dean Canamaya come through with flying colors. So the slow-mo yard arm with the black cap, but the people's champion, Dynasty, starts to lengthen his stride, and Robbie Freddy, now he knows he's got it in the bag, and there comes the left hand off, the salute to the crowd, and Robbie Fred says, I've done it. So the pressure now off Dean Kanemeyer, he's recorded the one and a half million rand Vodacom Durban July. And Yard on a big run in second. Everything went for Pierre Stradham, but Dynasty produces the goods. Yard on a tremendous run. Red Badge gets up for third. Wolf Whistle will run fourth. Special Parade fifth. Not disgraced. A big run for, from the filly, but a nice side on shot of Dynasty and Robbie Fred racing to the line. Delight of many punters, and well done to all the connections. The ruling favourite obliges.
Dynasty, of course, bred by Mary Slack at the Volkerbos Drift Stud, and uh, Dynasty ridden to victory by Robbie Frad, trained by Dean Canamaya, had the worst of the draw to overcome, as we heard from Ravon Smith, shortened into 14 to 10 uh, shortly before the off. So he was the punter's choice here at Gravel today, and Dynasty has come through with flying colours. Yard arm beaten but not disgraced back in second he beat everything home but dynasty pierre stradham wasted no time in taking him to the front and yard arm tried to make every post a winning post he was just outrun over the last 200 meters by number four dynasties so number four dynasty is going to win the 2003 vodacom durban july wins it by three parts of a length the second place will go to yard arm big run from number seven red badge back in third the fourth placing will go to number three wolf whistle he ran his heart out to finish back in fourth but didn't have the class to match uh, dynasty as dynasty and robbie frad come back to the winner's enclosure after landing the 14 to 10 odds to win the 2003 vodacom durban in july for owners of field spring racing pty limited the nominee mr john newsom a man who's based in the United Kingdom but has made a huge investment in South African racing. So the result is first, number four, Dynasty. The second placing going to number nine, Yard Arm. Third was number seven, Red Badge. The fourth placing will go to number three, Wolf Whistle. I thought that back in fifth position was number 18, Special Parade. So there's a number three, Wolf Whistle. Obviously, Dynasty coming right through there. The last 200 meters, very crucial, and just the snatching it from Yard Arm. Yeah, you know, it's fantastic. You know, everyone comes to watch a champion. Trust me, there's a champion. The chance of him staying this country. My impressions of that magnificent race. A brilliant, brilliant race. You know, early on, Dynasty was fighting hard. Robbie Fred had to decide, do I wait for my stable mate at the back, or do I go around and look for a position? The horse fought. It gave him a hard time. He got it in after about four or five furlongs. So this really adds to this win. It was a great win. The runner-up, a terrific race, dictated it. Two great horses, but Dynasty, the champion. Well, I think you could hear from the crowd when Yard Arm kept on leading until the last 200 meters that we couldn't have been up for an upset. But like I say, tactics at the end of the day, really winning it. Yeah, you know, Robbie Frad ran a fantastic race. Coming from a 20 draw is near impossible. It's only been done probably twice in history of the July. And uh, really, Robbie rode well. But I think, you know, when you're sitting on a machine, it makes your job a lot easier. Unfortunately, that's the, the, the way they the cookie crumbles for him, but well done to Robbie Fred. He's an absolutely brilliant rider. And uh, the public here have come out in their droves, have to be so excited. The top two in the betting, well, the top three in the betting finished in the first four. So it was fantastic for the crowd, but we've seen a champion. But I think uh, Robbie Fre Fred would be the first one as well to really acknowledge uh, Carl's uh, input as far as the horse is concerned. Oh, yeah, you know, one thing about jockeys, when the race is over, they all go back to the same jockey room and they get on, you know, it's just, this is such a competitive race. And for this horse to win it from that draw, it's just fantastic. And really to the owners as well, they put a lot of money into this game and uh, it's nice to see them out in front here as well. Well, wonderful, wonderful triumph indeed there, and it smiles all around as the cameras uh, uh, flash there. Just an acknowledgement there of the victor, Robbie Friend, obviously extensive international experience that he has, and Ravon is uh, standing by there. Wednesday afternoon, I have the pleasure of calling home five winners for the Kanamea Yard at Kenilworth. When they brought Robbie Frad home and that rich vein of form continues, hearty congratulations, Dean. This is probably mission accomplished. Yeah, Ravon, yeah, we're very excited and, um, yeah, it was a great win and uh, everything went wrong in the early stages of the race, you know. Robbie was battling to settle him, you know, from a 20 draw. Um, very difficult for a three-year-old from a 20 draw and uh, he overcame that. He managed to slot himself in halfway through the turn. And uh, very difficult for a three-year-old to kick on after, f after fighting the jockey out of the saddle for half of the race. Uh, there was a great win and, and well done to everybody, you know, uh, Field Spring Racing, uh, my father, John Freeman, uh, all involved in this team, and David Lilly, Wendy Michelle, that's my team, my backup team. I've had a few close shaves, you know, there's been Lambert Light, there's been Free My Heart, um, there's been Pas uh, We've had a few chances, today was our day, and, and Mary Slack of Valkenbos Drift that bred the sauce. This is wonderful. I must tell you, my lips are very, very dry. Uh, I don't want to tell you on TV what Graham Beck told me one day when I won the Queen's Plate for him. <laughs> um, 
It was tremendous, yeah. It was all worked out. Robbie rode a great race. Um, but I must say, and, and I've never been one to boost horses up, up uh, I do believe it's probably the best horse I've ever been associated with, and I, I made that statement before winning this race. Um, and I've worked with some very, very good horses. Um, now, Dean, if I, if I take you back right to the beginning, when you first nominated Dynasty, the pressure was virtually on from the word go. He was priced up as favourite with the bookmakers, and from there onwards, you suffered, you suffered another two setbacks in yeah. the form of the 20 draw and the fact yeah. that Carl Nisius was initially engaged to win to ride this horse, and he came down in a fall about two weeks ago, and you had to change jockey at the last hour. Very unfortunate for Carl Nisius. My heart goes out to him um, because he's always ridden the horse, and uh, it's just unlucky what happened to, to Carl. It, you know, very, very unfortunate. I'm sure his heart is bleeding, but I'm sure he's happy for the stable. But from the beginning, uh, you know, Robbie Fred, when he rode the source first time out as a 2L, I put him in 3L company for a mile first time out. And uh, something that has very seldom been done in this country, I, I ran him at Gravel first time out at night as a 2L, which he won. And when I gave Robbie a leg up before he went out as a baby, I said, Robbie, be careful, he's difficult to start. He said to me, Dean, this is the best horse in South Africa, unraced. Not a bad judge, is he? Absolutely. Yeah. Where to from here, Dean? Well, I'll have to discuss it with Field Spring uh, uh, Racing and the management. Uh, Corin and John Newsom, well done to them. Absolutely wonderful. Um, he's a magnificent horse. Fort Hood, once again, when he produces a good horse, they're different class. They, they, they're top class. And I, I thank everybody and, and Vodacom and Corin, a jockey horse. And I know maybe only get a once in a lifetime chance. Well done, Dean. Hot and congratulations. Um, to all those Cape supporters out there, we've brought the cup back home and everybody involved in this yard. And David Lilly, you're watching. Michael Gell, Kim Proctor, my mates, all the good guys, uh, school friends of mine, they've been in the world sport, got horses with me, everybody involved. We're bringing the trophy back to Cape Town. Well done, Dean, and enjoy Thank the you. celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Robbie Fradd now Robbie, joins me. He's the man that uh, was victorious on board Dynasty. And as you can see, there's absolute uh, shades of jubilation here in the winner's circle. Robbie, mission accomplished. Yeah, Ravon, you know, I said to you, you know, I said to you, Hugo, this is to win this race, you know. and. Um, I suppose only one of maidens, so people think, ah, oh, you know, he's, he's uh, sort of overdoing it a little bit, but um, I knew he would. Today, you know, I couldn't get him in. I battled, I was four deep, came up the hill five deep, and, um, but when I came up the hill, it was in my hands and travelling good. So I was pretty happy to be where I was and uh, moving up, moving up, and uh, I looked at yard arm, he was travelling good with Pierre, and um, I said, I want to turn from him, I want to be two inches behind him, no further back. And then at the top of the straight, let him run, and he just kicked. Yeah. Right, we're now going to look at the closing stages of the race. You're, of course, going to come to the outside of uh, Yardarm. Tell yeah. us exactly uh, what went through your mind and what transpired from Yon. Well, you know, he's a big striding horse. You've got to give him room to gallop. So I don't want to, I don't want to have to check him or, or switch him and um, just let him roll up the straight, you know, and let him kick on and use his action. And, uh, you know, he's, he's got a lot of heart, this horse. He's only a three-year-old. And uh, he's just too good for the rest of them and uh, just too good for the rest of the horses in the country. Simple. Yeah. And it's nice to be associated with good horses, especially seeing that you were only engaged to ride the horse about a week and a half ago. Sure, you know, um, you know, my heart goes out to Carl, you know. Uh, he's done all the hard work, he's won all the group races on this horse. Um, unfortunately, you know, if I know Carl, he would have ridden. But um, on doctor's orders, uh, you can't, you know. But, uh, you know, Carl will be back and there's a lot more July's for Carly. And, um, and obviously you get back on the source and ride him and um, he's going to have a great time with the source. Before I let you go, last mm -hmm. question. A lot of people have said that this is probably the next best since horse chestnut we've seen in this country. You've been associated with horses all across the world. Your opinion? Mm -hmm. He's good this horse. You know, he'll take on the best in the world. No problem. No problem at all. Well done, Robbie, and congratulations yeah, on a nice. superb ride. So thanks to Dino, you know. Dino's been on a lot of pressure and um, to the owners, John and Corin and all the people, you know, they've worked hard. Um, the whole team worked very hard and the stables, um, they're so professional like the horse, you know. Just a, it's a waste of talent in this country. They need to go overseas and, and, uh, and uh, kick on from there. I'm not saying it's a waste, but, uh, you know, they must go overseas and, um, you know, try, try, try the ability over there. They've got loads of ability, you know, the trainer, the horse, the lot, the whole staff. Robbie, well done. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, Robbie Fred now remounting Dynasty on his victory lap. Let's put our hands together. Robbie Fred and the champion, Dynasty, winner of this year's Vodacom Durban July.
never does. <laughs> Let's once again put our hands together. Let's once again put our hands together for Dynasty.